Psalms. Psalms. Chapter 53, verse 6. Oh, that the salvation of Yasha Allah will come out of Zion when Yahweh Yahusha bringeth back the captivity of his people. Yaquab, Yaquab shall rejoice and Yasha Allah shall be glad. I'd like to give all prayers and honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahusha, Bahashim, Makakudash, the Wadi Yahbashim El Shah for giving us the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who deserve double honors, rightfully so. Shalom to the Akim, pushing the word in sincerity and in truth, and being faith based and being prepared for what is to come. And what is to come? Race wars, famine, concentration camps, thaw, party, checkers, the market, and peace. 200 million missiles hit the soils of America. Simultaneously, the chariots of the Lord lifting up the whole full lack into the chambers. Simultaneously, the chariots of the Lord shooting laser beams at the ungodly and the heathens. Rightfully so. I will rock the side of the Lord, take the course of this video. Just a vessel seeking salvation out of this filthy place, spiritually known as Sodom and Gomorrah, Egypt, Babylon, and all the other filthy customs that I've taken upon. Uh, <clears throat> right now, time is. 6.16 a.m. in the morning, Saturday, August 3rd, 2024, the hopeful year of Jacob's trouble, and yes, Jacob's trouble is at hand, and that's the tribulation, and it's going to be much tribulation to enter the kingdom, but when we get into the kingdom, that's when happiness begins, that's when joy begins. That's when uh, being glad, let's look at the word glad. Let's go to the web. Let's go to the web. Let's go to the secretary seat, speak. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I told you. Um, it says glad, right? Glad. Glad. Pleasant. Delight. Right? Let's get a little couple of more right here. It says, please, I mean, pleased, delight, happy, delight, as pleased as, as I said, pleasant, it's a lot. Excuse me, it's not pleasant. It's a lot. Yeah. Pleased. 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 It's a lot. Yeah. Let's go back. Uh, yeah, glad. You know, minor word like that, it can, split, it can express a whole lot. And nowadays, we're not glad. Even uh, the ones that rule the earth, their little minor um, counterparts, you know, the baby Ashashuas, you know, the little ones that's running around, they like, um, I say, uh, they don't have nothing as we, but you know, the elites have everything. They're not pleased. They're not delighted. That's the situation turning out for them. So anything that anything has a hope. You know, four years ago, I truly believe a lot of Edomites voted for Joe Biden. They went against um Trump, whatever. And whatever, I don't know. I don't I don't vote. You know, and um and then Biden got in there, they thought Biden was gonna be the one, and then next thing you know, bam. Who whoever voted for Biden, whoever voted for it doesn't matter who you put in there. The agenda still stands. They still got to push to see him. And um, all out chaos got to happen here in the soils of America. The soils of Babylon. Okay. A.K.A. Sodom and Gomorrah. A.K.A. Um, Babylon, Egypt. All crammed in one. Okay. So. Well, we, we're going to be glad when the kingdom is it now when we get those crowns I brought this out one of those men <clears throat> the men that get those crowns is going to be glad they're going to have joy they're going to be happy they're going to know that they they accomplished the goal of being Yasha of, of, of being the hopeful elect they're going to be the elect and that's the kingdom man everything that's um 
that's going to qualify them is that salvation. Being pulled up in those chariots and on the fathership with Yahweh Shah. The king, King Yahweh, Malak Yahweh Shah. Okay? As pleased as punch. Right? Well pleased. Overjoyed. Right? Uh, gladful. Right? Satisfied. Gratified. Grateful. Thankful. We're going to be thankful. We're going to thank the Lord every day. Alright? So, moving on. Something that's going to be accomplished right there. Alright, let's get Let's get, let's get a little more on this chapter here. I got this verse based upon the brother in Mississippi. He has said something. He read. He read. Um, he read chapter. He read the chapter um, 126, Psalms chapter 126. So I decided to get some precepts on that. You know, to land back off of that one. And um, very powerful stuff, man. Our scriptures is very powerful, man. They cannot beat us, bro. All we gotta do, whew, all we gotta do is endure. These people are evil. They ain't never gonna be good until they, 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 ain't, they ain't gonna be. It ain't gonna be all good until nuclear, to nuclear destruction happens. Full outblown extermination, and that thousand years is gonna be, it's gonna be a part of the joyfulness, a part of the gladness, the please pleasing. See, that's when you know Yahweh Shemir Hashem is well pleased with you when he give you um, his dominion to rule. Hey, that's when you should be happy if you're one of those men. You know? I'm hoping to be one of those men. Just want to see what it says in the KJV. I mean the NLT. The NLT, right? I told you it's about it's about being saved. You know, I was telling this interview. You know, I tell you, man. And I, I did say something to him. I said, you guys, I said it's impossible to be in this situation and to be like thinking you saved and you still trying to figure out how to to um, pay your bills. It's not fucking save you. That's not salvation. I shouldn't be paying no bills. I have a, you know, in the spirit of Yahweh Shemel Shah, I have a rule class mentality. You know? And it's not on boasting and it's confidence in Yahweh Shemel Shah. It's verses, verses like joint air. Let's read that real fast. It says, if, wait, hold on. Hold on. Listen, look. Look what this says, man. Joint airs. Let's get this verse real fast. This verse is powerful. Joint heirs. So like, let's do it this way. <laughs> oh boy. I mean, this verse stands out. You know. Joint heirs with the Lord. Romans. I know that's Romans. Let's see. Romans chapter 8. Powerful stuff, man. Coming out this book, man. This is why they don't want you to have. That's why Volcan Malone is jumping out the fucking woodwork talking shit. And everybody else. It's, it's been. They don't want you to have this, man. I don't want you to have this gloriousness, man. I'm telling you, bro. It's about rulership, bro. It's about rulership. Okay? Um, Romans chapter 8, verse 17. And if children, their heirs... With, and, if, and if children, which and his sons... Buns, bun, 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 um... 
Banyamya. Banyam Salakia. And his children, then heirs, heirs of Yahweh, Yahusha, and heirs of Yahweh, and joint heirs with Hamashiach, Yahusha. If so be that we suffer with him, so we gonna have to suffer with Yahusha. Uh, we'll be fi um, you know, I've been watching videos, right? And sometimes I doze off, right? And I wake up and I, I've been seeing the movie clips of, you know, how they got of Yahusha. When he was getting crucified. That's the moment, man. That's when it started for us. When he went on that cross, that's when it knows that he, who he's coming back for. And then this individual, I said, he's going to have a picture of somebody, right? And said, that's, that's, that's Jesus, right? And I said, oh, he doesn't look like that. He said, that doesn't matter to me. So why, if it doesn't matter to you, why you got that picture? You see the importance why it does matter? You know? And the children, then heirs, heirs of Yahweh, and joint heirs with Hamashiach, Yahweh Shah. If so be that we suffer with him, that we may be also glorified together. And we're going to be, if we're the ones, we're going to be. We're going to be glorified together, man. These happy days are coming, man. It's at the door, man. It's going to take, it's going to take a lot of um, uh, great crushing. You should say it that way. A lot of great crushing. I mentioned it. That verse right there, uh, the wine press. Yeah, I was trying to come at the, um, the destroy, man. A lot of destroying is going to happen. And I brought this out. Oh man, the Lord, and I get preserved, man. Some days I'm fighting serious demons in my brain, talking hella crap to me, you know. And and all I can do is just say, you know, all when all fails, do a video. All fails, watch a video. Cause them dodges are heavy. And right now I'm doing this video, right? I had a crazy thought right before I started. And I said, you know what? I'm just gonna do a video. It's only gonna clarify, it, man. And this thought came to my mind. Um. Happy days are coming. Happy days are at the door, man. Oh, what's that verse? Is it um um it's a lot. I'm trying to figure out exactly where it's at. Yeah, see ya. Con con Let me see. Wow, that's a good one too, but um, Wow. I'm gonna come back there. I'm gonna need that one. I'm gonna keep that one. Wow. wow. I'm trying to figure out exactly where is that. Happy, con. Um, let's read a little bit of this. Um, Still not good. Give me a second.
Hey, Shalom, Shalom. Um, it says, um, Psalm chapter. Psalm chapter 149, verse 1. Praise ye the Lord, Yahweh Shah. Sing unto the Lord, Yahweh Shah, a new song. And his praises in his congregation of his saints. Let, let Yahweh rejoice in him that made him. Let, him. let the children of Zion be joyful in their king. Let them praise to his name. In a dance, let them sing praises unto him with tam tambourines and harps. Let for for the like it, for the Lord Yahweh shall take pleasure in his people. He will beautify the meek with salvation. God, see that I told you, man. Let the saints be joyful in in glory. Let them sing upon. Let them sing aloud upon their beds. That's what I wanted. We're going to be on our bed relaxed, man. That's the future, baby. Let the high praises. Let the high praises of Yahweh be in their mouth. And a two-edged sword in their hand. See? To execute vengeance upon the heathens. Punishment upon the people. To bind their kings with chains. And the nobles with feathers of iron to execute upon them the judgment wherein judgment written his honor have all his saints. Praise ye Yahweh El Shah. So I have to get all that out right there. Now, like I told you, it's a lot, it's a lot to get into this point. So we just got to open prayer. We one of those men. We endure. We be the ones that we put the um, that be martyrs and we put the death for the for the king for the father of the king. We're gonna go up first. If we the ones that's going that's gonna endure all the way to the end, and the saints should be saved, we're gonna get scooped up after them. This it does, you can't go around the scriptures. All right. So we don't care about how you feel about your feelings, your emotions, your feelings. Hey man, you you wanna know something? We, we patiently waiting. We call it, we, we we emotional, cause we gotta wait. Through. We gotta suffer, y'all. We gotta suffer this madness that y'all do around us. We gotta look at our shasha every day, talking shit. Shit, we yeah, we want Trump in the office, but not because we're gonna we want him to. We want this thing to we want him to push the fucking C hip. Yeah, we want to see this shit locked down. He's not gonna go up in there and be good to y'all. He got a plan. His plan is to fucking please the elites. This time they want him. This time he going he gonna comply. Pastor Hard had the video. He said that, um, uh, how that video go? Let me see. The name of that title. Which name of that title? Let me see. Um, which makes logical sense that he wants that. But he didn't think about it. He didn't want it before, but he probably wanted it. But he had to trick everybody, man. No, it's a fucking, it's a, um, it's a play on, a play on your mind. Right, let's go here. What was the name of his video? What was the name of that video? Yeah, he said, he said, the apostle, apostle Hall said the name of the video, and uh, you want to know? He's, he's a man of the Lord, right? Not you, vocab alone. Okay. If you high side, you don't you don't repent. You ain't gonna be a man of the Lord. You better repent. And you fit the hat gang, you better repent. Trump, it says um name of his video was Trump was against Bitcoin. Now he is for it. What happened? Okay. So there's a there's a there's a there's an agenda that's about to be pushed. And you're gonna be caught up in the mix. I rock this eye. I get preserved in this thing. They're gonna push. Oh, I was just watching the. Oh, I was at the supermarket. They got the whole new setup there. It looks straight up on um, microchippy, chippy, microchips. You know, look all set up, ready to be um, 
beep, beep. And I'm telling you, man, it's going to be a lot. Because they, they was trying to do that before, keep you from going to supermarkets. They really want you Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans not to go to supermarkets. They don't want you to eat. They don't want you to feed your kids. I know it's about, because every time I turn around, it's always an Ash Joshua talking shit to a Mexican, talking shit to a Puerto Rican, talking shit to a Negro, talking shit to a Native American. They don't want you to eat. Well, you know what? The Yahweh Shem Al Shai ain't gonna let you eat. You messing with these little ones. So, it's going down, man. Alright, so I found a few other verses. I want to read this other chapter I just saw. It. Look, um, check this out. Oh, this one is, um. Let's see. Let's see. I want to read a little bit of this shit, so I've seen something. Was it this one? Yeah, that's what it says. It says, let's read a little bit right here. We're going to start right here. Um, it says, um, uh, Psalm chapter 30, Psalm chapter 137, verse 7. Remember, O Yahweh, our child, the children of Edom, in the day of Jerusalem, who said, Race it, race it, even to the foundation of it. He said, Kill it, get it, destroy it, destroy it. When the Babylonians was running down the you know, Ashanti, you was running down on us too. Now this is your time. Your time is up, man. You, you about to get everybody is gonna look at you like a nothing. Oh daughter, oh daughter, here go the clue. It's not talking about the Babylonians then, it's talking about now. Oh daughter of Babylon, who ought to be destroyed. Happy should he be. That reward of thee as thou hast served us. And he's gonna be a nice servant. Okay. Happy shall he be that taketh and dashes thy little ones against the stones. So we're gonna be happy, man. Some of some happy days coming along here, man. And it's not us saying it, it's just us as the messengers. We got the message, man. And it has um as um um it has comforted us. Come for ye, come for ye. ye children. Our, our captivity is almost up. Okay? People ain't gonna like it, but you know, what are you gonna do about it? What are you gonna do? You're like a crybaby anyway. So this is just the spirit. Right, so it says, um, Psalm chapter 37, verse 3. Trust in the Lord, Yahweh, Yahweh, Shah, and do good. So shall thy dwell in the land, and verily thou shall be fed. We're going to be fed there. We're going to be, I'm telling you, man, it's about to be glorious, man. I see some, you know, hey, you know, I see a lot of, um, turmoil in my dream, a lot of things happen, but there's always a good ending, you know, like, there's a lot of things going down in my dreams, man, but hey, it's going to take a lot to get to the kingdom, man, the Lord Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah for that, delight thyself also in the Lord Yahweh Shah, and he shall give thee the desires of thy heart, and he's going to, he's going to do these things, man, it's going to be glorious, man. So, um, I'm about to sign one of these, man. Let's go back here real fast. Alright, uh, this is Psalm to the 53, verse 6, the, NL, the NLT translation. 
who will come from Mount Zion to rescue Yahshua Allah? When Yahweh restore his people, Yaakov, Yaakov will so shout with joy, and Yahshua Allah with rejoice. We're going to be rejoicing, we're going to shout with joy and rejoice. We're going to be back together as a big family, man. The 144,000 men are going to be all brothers, man. They, those are the ones that was with David. Those are the ones with the predestinated ones. It was the ones, man. We came up, man. We came up together. My brother's not one of them, man. Salakia. Just looking at verses. Alright, let's go back. I brought this on one of these men. I'm telling you, it's glorious, man. That was the spirit, because those verses came through the spirit. Yeah, but you shot. Why do y'all but you shot for that? Because um, all right. So let's go back real fast, because um, all right, um, I had got those precepts from this verse right here. I told you the brother read this, um, and I and I was like, wow. So I'm gonna read it in the um, KJ, I mean, the NLT, right? It says um, Psalms of the 126, verse one, the NLT translation, the NLT translation. When the Lord Yahweh shall bring back his exile to Jerusalem, it was like a dream. It was like a dream. It's a possibility. Exclamation point there, right? Exclamation point. Yeah. It was like a dream, man. It was like, oh man. It was like. Oh man, it was, oh, it's over. Oh shit, yeah, you die, you're finished. Laser me, shoot him. I'm telling him to bust y'all about Joshua. The rest of you nation, you're gonna fall in line. I'm telling you, man. So it's like it. Um, oh, verse 2. We were filled with laughter and we sang for joy, man. We sang now, man. I remember one time I had this dream, man. I had this dream, I don't know. A real powerful dream, bro. Real powerful. Real, real powerful dream, bro. So I was on I was coming out the ground. Singing, man. I was singing to the Lord. I was singing. My voice was so like so beautiful, man. I heard myself. And I was singing to Yahweh Shah. You know? It was glorious, man. I just came to mind right now, just that part. And I was coming out the ground. And I was singing to y'all by Shalom Shah. It was so glorious, man. We're going to love his appearing, man. We're going to love his appearing, man. He's going to pick on. That's what I'm saying, man. It's important. How are you going to tell me? I actually, did he look like that in the, in the Bible? That doesn't matter to me. What the fuck matters then? Everybody's seeking their own opinion. And that's what they're going to find out as an, as what they're going to come to naught. Psalms of the 136, Psalms of the 126, verse 2. We were filled with laughter. And we sang for joy. And 
and the other nations said, What amazing things that the, the Lord Yahweh Yah Shah have done for them. Yes, he's done great things for us, man. That's why we're the ones, man. We're the best basketball players, football players, singers. You know? We're the ones, man. Nobody else should want to shop for that. Yep. Yeah. It's a verse I wish I could find right now in my mind. But it's okay. They're gonna come out, they're gonna worship us, man. For this truth, for the man of the Lord that taught us, great millstone. Right? Seriously, man. Like, forget about your crying, your whining, because you know what you want. You you're not on top. You know what? Maybe you don't need to be on top. Maybe you need to follow suit. Oh, I wouldn't be on top. I wouldn't be the one. Well, go sit your ass down. Um, Con, happy days are coming. I'd like to give all praise and honor glory to Yah Bashem El Shabbat, Shema Karkadash, the Wadi Yah Bashem El Shabbat for the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom to the Akim. Shalom.